Hi, this is James again, and welcome back to Storytime with James. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit my cash out. Bless my cash out so I can get more acrylic paint, masking tape, and paint brushes. It's just that simple. This one is called Lights Out, Everyone's Home. Yeah. Like, if there was a huge power outage over here, if there was a huge power outage where everybody's lights were out and nobody had power at all, what would you do? What can you do, huh? I know it's hard to imagine with these because we're all dependent on Wi-Fi, internet, cell phones, televisions, electricity, the whole shebang, you know? But what would you do if you didn't have power? That's, that's... A big thing you know hold up hold up yes that's a big deal all right yes you probably would go crazy okay the kids would go crazy because they grew up doing this uh internet stage and stuff like that they grew up knowing Wi-Fi and everything your kids will go crazy because kids don't like going out and playing no more. Okay? They don't. They will, they will probably keep saying they bored and get, keep saying they bored and then they will start acting out or something. Yeah. Could you make it though for a month without power? Probably not. Okay. First of all, you have to take care of the, the necessities of life. And that's food, water, shelter. That's it. All this electronic stuff goes out the door. Okay? You know, and this, this is for blackouts and brownouts and all of those outs. What you call it? What you call it? Call them, you know? All of those outs. You need battery powered lights or solar powered lights or lanterns or candles. You're going to need those. You're going to need those things first, okay? Because it's nothing if, if you're bumping into each other in the dark. So you're going to need light, okay? And you're going to. Uh, Need a means to cook. So when the power first goes out, the first thing you should clean out is your refrigerator. Go in the refrigerator and cook as much stuff as you can. Okay? And cook it well done. Well done. Cook it as best as you can. Okay? Then, after that, you go to your freezer. Because if you keep your freezer closed, it, it'll stay cold for a couple of days, you know, maybe a couple of days. You Your food could last in there. Then you go to your freezer and start cooking all of that. If you can't eat it all, either toss it or give it to friends. Maybe your neighbor won't have that much food. Maybe he couldn't go shopping before the lights went out. Okay? Then... After all of that, after you did the refrigerator and the freezer, go on ahead and just unplug it and just let it sit there, you know. And then uh, that's when you go to your pantry. In your pantry should be stored a lot of canned goods and dry goods and stuff. Now, you can live for a while off of that if you ration it. You ration your food. 
you know, so, you know, maybe you just eat one meal a day. You got to do it. Then there's a way to cook. Now, some people still have gas stoves. I know a lot of people have electric stoves and stuff like that. But uh, electric, the electricity is not working now. So, but the gas still works. So if you got gas, that's, that's a good thing. You can cook in the house. If you don't have gas, then you should have a small barbecue grill or something that you can cook on. Go out back and cook. You got to do it, you know. Go out back and cook and everything. And if it's winter time, oh, man, it's, it's bad. Because it's real cold outside. If it's winter time and you got gas, that's cool. You can turn your gas on. Or you can buy those uh, propane heaters, you know. So you can mostly uh, warm yourself up, you know. You won't be extra hot, hot, but you will be a little comfortable. You know, if you get up under a lot of blankets and make sure you check, keep checking your propane heater. If you got one of those, make sure you keep a check on it, you know, because so it won't catch nothing on fire, you know. Or you can utilize your fireplace. If you use your fireplace occasionally, that this will be an ideal time to use it, you know. Yeah. Now, you can get generators and and uh, solar panels and stuff, but solar panel won't do no good if it's cold outside. You know, you won't get enough sun, you know, and uh, you won't get enough sun. Now, generator will be good, you know, but you got to look at during that time when all the lights are out, you really got to watch your generator because people are going to try to steal it. They're going to try to steal. They're going to hear it first and they're going to try to steal your generator. It's, it's, it's a lot of people it's just going to turn on each other, especially people who don't have nothing. You know, they're going to turn on you, you know, and they probably try to get those. If you can get a get generator that can be, inside that's excellent but most generators are too noisy and they they're ran by gas and stuff you know so they they emit fumes you know so they got to be out in the open you know but you can live with lanterns you know you get some lanterns and just light those lanterns you know you know so yeah, light those lanterns and everything. Yeah, it would be terrible. It, it would be a lot of bad stuff happening. You know, people robbing people, trying to take, you know, trying to take what you got, you know. But you, they don't know you're struggling too, just like them. So... Well, I hope it never does happen, but if, if something should happen and a grid should go out, you know, a couple of grids should go out, there's going to be widespread panic around here, you know, because people don't know what to do without the luxuries of life. And the luxuries of life really should be your life. That's a luxury. So... You're going to survive at all costs. So that's it. You know, man, it's crazy. Mm. Mm. I got some uh, dip. Uh, sour cream and onion 
Hey man, let me get a little bit of that. Let me get a little bit, man. Let me get a little bit. Come on, man. Man, oh, I can't oh, never oh. eat nothing. Oh, just a little. Some of that sour cream. You lucky, man. You lucky. You lucky. Well, that's it again. Once again, it's Sunday. It's Sunday is tomorrow. So I know I have to get up early in the morning. Mm. But make sure you like subscribe and leave me a comment if you like and hit that bell notification hit that bell notification so that you know every time i drop another video and share 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 my videos with everyone so everyone can get this experience okay peace adios salamat Sure, thank you.